Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. Sri Lanka, formerly Ceylon, is often forgotten on the geopolitical stage, but in that regard as well as that of brewing, the island nation merits more attention. The largest brewery in Sri Lanka, like dozens of others across the world, has its roots in imperial expansionism, specifically when the island was a crown colony of Great Britain. As the story goes, Scottish tea planters in the hillside town of Nuwara Elia would work up a fierce sweat and thirst going about their business. Far away from their usual comforts on the other side of the world, these laborers pined for an after-work refreshment. It was in 1881 that one Samuel Baker went commercial to meet the demands of his countrymen and set up the first brewery on the island, which later became known as Lion. Their core product line is mostly lager of varying potency, but since I'm a dark beer fiend, we're trying out the stout. Adorned with a flashy illustration of the king of the jungle, the lion stout would certainly quench the thirst of those plantation field hands. Some exported bottles adorn a portrait of the beer hunter himself, the late, great Michael Jackson. Jackson wrote of the lion stout, a world-class beer with pruny, mocha aromas and flavors. It has a tar-like oiliness of body and a peppery, bitter chocolate finish. Before I confirm or deny his review, let us note that this stout comes in at 8.8% alcohol by volume, packing as much strength as it does dark hues. Well, he certainly nailed it in describing the body as oily. Lion stout pours thick, forming a tan head that propels aromas of mocha and sweetness right into your nose. It really is a wonder how brewers can imitate roasted coffee without using any beans at all. The flavors are appropriately mocha-like, backed up by notes of cream and dark chocolate, just as Jackson described. I'm usually eager to recommend local cuisine if I can to pair with beer, but in addition to never having visited Sri Lanka, I have never even been to such a restaurant. However, my cursory research shows that spices are a big deal on the island. That's fantastic, because I love dark beer and spicy food in equal measure. Without getting too specific, enjoy this stout with a curry of your choosing. Even if you shy away from capsaicin heat, trust me when I say that such seasoning will bring out the best in the stout. Don't be afraid to cook with plenty of coconut milk and ghee. Frankly, you need saturated fat to push back against that 8.8% and the boldness of this dark brew. Thank you kindly for watching. I don't know about you, but I'm eager to learn more about what beer one can enjoy in Sri Lanka in addition to Lion. If you're from there and know about the craft scene on the island, let me know about it in the comments below. Be sure to join me again next week as we dig into another brewed delight. And yeah, I don't speak Sinhala, but if you do, feel free to tell the rest of us how to pronounce this. Until next time.